Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at this 43 inch wall mantel with infrared electric fireplace and the color is Instanton Birch. As you can see the box is pretty big. It weighs 146 pounds. You can see it right here. So it's heavy so if you want to have somebody help you bring it inside that will be great now once inside you can go ahead and let's open this up see what's inside so here are some instructions and let's see how they are. This is what the end product will look like. Warranty. Save the instructions. Here are the pieces. And the insert. And here is a description of the pieces. Step by step, step one, two, three, so on and so forth. And it looks, looks good, it looks like a good drawings. And according to this, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. So let's see inside the box thick so it's well protected that's cool there's more protection and here is this plastic let's see what does this say hardware this big box is probably the insert let's see It is. So this is probably gonna be last. This is what the fireplace looks like. So it's nice. It's a nice size. So let's leave that for last. I think on step one it, it tells you to start with one of these other boxes. So the first step here is constructing the center assembly. And it gives you different pieces. So let's put that together. So I took the box that was here right next to me and took it out. And since it's really heavy, I just broke the box and I put it here. So here it has the pieces that are in this box. The one with this plastic. So here are the pieces and it has the letters here. So this is F, so this is probably one of the last ones. So let's put this to the side. And here is the bag with the hardware, here it is. That's probably why they left this here, so you know where to get the hardware. So just grab your Phillips screwdriver and you have everything in here and let's start putting it together. Just so you know, the box is 48 inches long, 26 inches wide, 24 inches tall. So I've taken everything out, out of this box and the part that I was looking for, B, was the last one on the way in the bottom. So we're looking for B, D, and then C and E. And according to this, you just got to put them together. And the one thing I like about this is some of these are already in there. Like this one, that, as well as these. So you don't have to do some of these parts. So that's cool. 
so here we have D on the left, C on the right. So these already are in there. So now all we have to do is make sure you put them together. You align them. And once they're in there, make sure that this, we just turn it into the opposite side. Then you have a plus and minus, so you know what direction to go to. Now that we have this piece together with this one and that one, all we're missing is part E. Now part E on the picture you can't really tell which way it goes but looking at the other instructions or the instructions ahead this goes like this. Now these metal pieces go inside inside here so if you look at it from above you'll have this and this sticking up and the metal pieces that are inside they're going to go under so now we have four pieces all together on the next instructions you have screws AA and they go under here and I just saw AA here AA there's only two screws and one goes here and the other one goes on the opposite side as you can see I'm using the curtain that comes with the fireplace so I don't scratch it or I don't break it on the floor so it's pretty useful to use that now what I've done next is I stood this upside down the way it has it on the picture and then we're gonna use letter F to put it here just like that on both sides and it slides right in and he has like a warning sign, so make sure you put that where you can see it. And I think it's facing back. Next step is to grab piece A, and you're gonna put the feet on there, and the feet are here, and it comes like that. There's four of these. So we have all four here, and we also need washers, CC, and the screws, BB. Now to put the feet together, you're going to have to put these two into these two holes, and this one is going here, this is where the screw is going, like so. And then you're going to grab one of the washers and the screw. And you're going to go ahead and put it in there. And grab your screwdriver and go ahead and tighten this one. And you're going to do the same thing with the rest of them. Now that we have all four feet on this, we're gonna go ahead and put this on top of that and make sure that this piece right here aligns with this right here. These screws are a little bit of an angle so you can screw them just barely on the tip here. Once you've screwed all four sides then we're gonna flip this over now that we have it on the right side, we're going to take these and turn them this way. And there's a pre-drilled hole 
there and we're gonna grab the screws that are DD and put one here and one on the other side we have these and the rest of it together now we're gonna put the top or the part number is G so now G is on top and we're gonna slide that in make sure that you align all the holes and once you align it go ahead and push it down inside again go ahead and screw those right here the screws in there the next step on this is this one right here it says to secure this back panel with ee and tighten it with ff screws and here they are it's six of them so we're gonna put them here it doesn't have any markings on the piece of wood once we have this on there then we're gonna have the screw put it in there and the same thing with the rest of them next according to the instructions we have to assemble the drawer so we're gonna grab part i then j and k this is gonna align with this and we're gonna put it here and we're gonna put the two gg screws through here and here same thing with the other side now that we have screws on both sides and make sure that you align this correctly the hardware is going to go outside now we're going to go ahead and put this insert like that make sure it's all the way in and now we're going to put part m and part m it's going this way it's going like this 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 right here is going on top so we're gonna have two screws gg coming from the bottom towards the top and it's gonna hold on to this the next step is to prepare the front panel and which is part n and you're gonna grab ii which is a screw and we're gonna put this screw right here that's as far as it goes right there i skipped one of the steps but you can go ahead and do it here you have to have hh this little piece of wood that you actually attach either here or on part m which is the the piece that we put in the middle and it goes not here but here or you could put it on the other one the point is the screw that we put on the other piece piece n is going through here and this is going through the other hole now we're gonna go ahead and flip the front of the drawer and put it on top of here since we have four extra GG screws we're gonna put them on both sides of this piece or the front of the drawer and they're gonna go right through here and you're gonna do the same thing with the other ones when you're making the drawer make sure that the finished side it's back here so everything looks finished and the brackets have the stopper here and there's a clear path in the back now you have two handles and they are part number KK and they are going to the front of the drawer and pretty simple you just take off the screw that's here take this off the screw is going to the other side of the drawer or the inside of the drawer and the handle goes on top like that and go ahead and put the screw on the bottom now that we have built the drawer now it's time for us to put it in 
to the rest of the cabinet. Now to install the drawer on the instructions it says to pull these out and also pull these all the way out like that. Same thing with the other side. We're going to go ahead and align the drawer with this and then slide it right in there. The drawer was a little tricky to get in there. It's probably best if you have someone help you put one side and use the other side. It took me a few tries to get it in there. Once it's in place, then you can go ahead and pull it open and close it. It doesn't have a soft close, but I'm not going to use this uh, every day. I'm going to use it every now and then. The next step is to remove the brackets and there are on both sides. One of them is right here and the other one is in the other side. So remove all four screws and take off the brackets. So let's grab the insert and it comes in here. Now for the next part or the next step is to install the fireplace insert which is here. We're going to take it out of the box and we're going to put it in the back of the cabinet without dragging it on the bottom of the cabinet so you don't scratch the entire thing. And we're going to put the brackets back. What the brackets will do is just hold the piece into place. So let's grab the insert and it comes in here. To lift the insert, there are handles right here on the sides. So grab it from here, grab it from the other side and go ahead and lift. And that's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the cabinet. And before we do that, the, the brackets that we took off are going to grab onto this lip so it doesn't fall backwards. Oh, here's the cabinet and there is the insert and now we're gonna go ahead and put the packets back right there and we're gonna put the screws on there so make sure that before you put the bracket make sure that the insert is all the way to the front and it's it's flushed they have the little lip and then the brackets holding on to that so you can move probably side to side just a little bit, not a lot. The entire insert can move a little bit, but it's not going to go backwards. And it's not going to go forwards because this is holding it from tilting forward. The last piece that you're going to put on the cabinet is this plastic, which goes with a screw onto the cabinet back here there's no pre-drilled hole but you're gonna go ahead and put it here somewhere in the middle and then the other piece are you gonna put it on the wall and the whole purpose of this last piece is if you have kids you don't want the entire cabinet fall on them if they happen to get on the front side of the cabinet there is the back side of the cabinet and that's the front here is the control panel and you also have a remote and the same thing you have on the panel in the front of the fireplace you have it here and here are the batteries so according to the instructions, you can go ahead and power the fireplace with the power button. Same thing with the panel. If you want to adjust the heater, you go go ahead and put a plus or minus. Adjusting the flame, you have five unique effects. Spectrofire, Sapphire, Amethyst, Campfire, and Midnight Fire. And you could also leave it into auto cycle. So I'll go through all the flame colors 
and lastly you have off and that's using this button right here then you have the timer then you have the adjusting the flame speed and lastly you have flame brightness so let's go ahead and use the remote to turn it on that's number one so that is called spectrifier this one it's called sapphire amarist campfire midnight fire and that's the automatic one fourth so if you want to go ahead and dim the light it goes from 65 to 61 so you got 65 4 3 2 1 and it goes back to 5 and if you want the speed of the fire to go faster, right now it's 1. You want to go faster, 2, 3, 4, 5. Goes back to 1. And then let's turn on the heater. And you can go ahead and raise... the temperature it goes up to 82 and it goes down to 62 and as you can see this started turning on so now I can feel the hot air Now it's off, and I'm just cooling down, and it's off. And let's go ahead and turn the whole thing off. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. That's what it. It took uh, some time to build it. I hope this video helps you in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.